What's up everybody, this is NC State Wolfpack 33, and uh, I'm here to kind of uh, give you like a recap of the Butler vs. Wisconsin game, the Sweet 16 game in New Orleans, where uh, Butler won it. It was 61-54, uh, and honestly, uh, I had picked Wisconsin to go far in my bracket. I had them as a Final Four team, uh, the reason being that they had the best free throw percentage, the best uh, three-point percentage, and also the least amount of turnovers per game in, in the country. Um, that's all the makings for a, cha a champion, let alone a Final Four team. If you can, you know, take care of the ball, get you know, drive to the hoop, get fouled, make your free throws, you know, get good looks at three, at uh, you know, three land and hit those. You can beat just about anybody, really. I mean, obviously that depends on which defense you're going against, but... I'm not a fan of Wisconsin, but when you're doing when you're making your bracket and you pick a team that not a lot of other people would pick to uh, make to the Final Four, you become a fan of them during the tournament. Uh, you know, I'm obviously not a Wisconsin fan. I don't plan on being one, but they were interesting to watch during the tournament, but... Last night, um, that was just a horrible game, and uh, you know I'm an NC State fan, so NC State basketball, I'm, I'm used to that stuff. But when we played Wisconsin, we just got absolutely destroyed, which you know, you know, I shouldn't, I, I wasn't surprised about that. But you know, when uh, when Butler lost to Pittsburgh, I was thinking my, because I had Wisconsin beating Pittsburgh in the Sweet 16, which is a crazy pick, but it's one that separates you from everybody else. So I feel like yeah, I feel like everyone needs at least one of those like crazy upsets. And uh, when I found out that Butler beat Pittsburgh on that you know last second free throw by Howard, I was like you know really excited that uh, you know obviously Wisconsin's uh, chances increase playing Butler, but now that I think about it, maybe I did want to play Pitt, I don't know. Um, I'm just looking over the box score, and uh, I think the main thing for uh, Wisconsin, obviously the uh, field goal percentage is bad, um, but I also look at, we have... Uh, more turnovers than assists, which is pretty common amongst college basketball teams, but not Wisconsin. Jordan Taylor, who had like a, I don't know, let's just say he had four assists per turnover ratio, which was, again, the best in the nation. He uh, turned the ball over four times versus two assists, so that's, um, you know, a .5 assist to turnover ratio. Uh, not very good, but like I said, it's it's pretty average. But you know, and I'm not gonna you know bash this guy, but uh, John Luer, one of twelve from the field, one of six from th uh, three land. That's not gonna get it done. When you foul out with three points, and you're and you are your team's best scorer, like John Luer is. That just can't happen. And another thing, I didn't see the intensity until the last, you know, five minutes of the game when Wisconsin got on that nice run to bring it within four. Um, we opened the game well, but the last, I don't know, ten minutes of the first half and then the first ten minutes of the second half, we scored three points in the first ten minutes of the second half. Three. I think it was it was 33-24 at halftime. They opened it up to 47-27. They scored um, 14 points to our three in the first 10 minutes of the second half. We scored 27 points the last 10 minutes of the second half. Where was that the first half of the last half, if you can follow what I'm saying? Where was that? Why did they all of a sudden drive to the basket? Because they sure as hell didn't get their points from threes. They were 7 of 29. 
you know, Mike Bruzewitz, who played really well the first two games of the tournament. He's pretty decent from three. Um, you know, 33%, you know, three-point shooter. It's pretty good. He was 0 for 4. John Taylor, 3 for 10. John Lewer, 1 of 6. Nankaville had a good game. He didn't shoot the ball that much, though. Um, took seven shots from the field, made three of them. You know, got his season average of around nine points a game. He got nine, but I just I didn't see anybody on the Wisconsin team uh, take control. And uh, the guy who should have taken control of the game was Jordan Taylor, their point guard. I didn't see that. I saw a lot of missed free throws, which is very uncommon with him. This is the best free throw shooting team in the country. They shot 13 of 19. <laughs> Only four different guys shot free throws. John Lewer didn't shoot a single free throw. I can rant until the cows come home about this game. I'd rather not. I just kind of... You know, I'm not pissed off because I, I still have my other three Final Four teams in or still alive at this point. Two of them obviously haven't played yet, but I've got uh, Ohio State, um, uh, UConn, and then Kansas. And then my championship game is Ohio State against Kansas, and my winner is Ohio State. So all that still could happen, and I'd win my little pool. But, you know... Wisconsin's a, a good team. They definitely deserve that four seed. They, they won uh, you know, 25 games, very good amount of games. Being an NC State fan, shit, when was the last time we won 25? I don't know. But, um, so there you have it. Just talking about the uh, Butler Wisconsin game. Didn't really talk much about Butler. They deserve the win. Congratulations. Good luck against Florida. Please beat them because I can't stand the Gators. Uh, you know, they did what they had to do to win the game. Wisconsin didn't. But, you know, it happens. Uh, maybe I'll pick Wisconsin to just go to the Sweet 16 next year or maybe the Elite Eight. Probably not the Final Four. A little, a little bit too crazy, I guess. But, shit, no one. No one could predict that uh, you know, Butler would be back in the Elite Eight and possibly the uh, Final Four. So there you have it. Um, this is NZ State Wolfpack 33 signing out for you. Have a nice day.